my gardening friends. It's uh, March 6th today and I'm going to be potting up my elephant ear bulbs. I thought I'd do a Master Gardener Minute. Now I've already taken my bulbs out of storage and checked them over. I basically had them wrapped in newspaper and they were in all in together in a cardboard box. These bulbs were wrapped individually and then I had some smaller bulbs. Um, these ones here, they were wrapped in groups. So these are elephant ears that I dug up last fall and getting them ready to grow this year. Now it's early March, but what I have found is that here in Western New York, it can take up to a month for them to come out of dormancy. So let's take a look at the bulbs. Here, I'll put this one here. And you can see this is last year's bulb. I didn't separate them last year. Um, I didn't want to put another place where it had to heal. Plus, I wanted to see this spring if this had any buds that, was go that were going to uh, be viable. So here you can see a bud. And this is a good size bud. So you could separate these. But since I want bigger plants, I'm going to leave them together. And then this is a bud, here's a bud. And then this is where I cut the plant off. This was the stalk, the top of the plant last year. So when you go to put this in your pot, it's gonna sit like this. Now last year I used, I think they were eight inch pots, so maybe this size, uh, eight inch across diameter. And what I found was this is maybe seven inches deep. Uh, by Memorial Day, when I put these out, the roots had filled up the pot. And I don't know if that delayed some of their growth once I put them in the ground where they were already maybe getting a little root bound. So this year I'm gonna use some bigger pots. This is a 10 inch pot. I measured it, it's about nine inches deep. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put this guy in here cause he's kind of funky. And I'm also not sure if the bulb from last year is going to do anything, but we'll see. So I'm just going to put him like this. And then I have this 15 inch pot that I'm going to put um, two of these in. This one is another one I'm not sure about. This is a bulb from last year. Um, I don't see... Now there was like one little bud on here that I thought might be viable. Oh, here it is. So you can feel it if you don't see it. So this one's questionable. So I'm gonna put that in the bigger pot with one of these other ones and um, I'll pot up the other one. Now the small ones, I'm going to put them, I'm gonna put three or four of them together in that eight inch pot. I don't know how well these are gonna do. They are kind of small. So when you're bringing them out of storage, if you wanna make sure they're viable, they should be pretty firm. So this is where the sprout was. The leaves were coming off of it last year. And then that's the bottom. So that either broke off one of these old bulbs or that's what was there. So I had some that I had put in the ground that didn't do great and these are these are the ones that weren't wonderful. So I'm gonna give them a shot. But, um, you know, you just wanna feel in that top where the old stem was is gonna be a little soft. You can, you can leave it on. And then that one's got the bottom from last year. I did have one tiny one that I had put in storage just to see what it did. And this one, it's kind of squishy. I, you know, I don't think it's viable. I'm not even gonna bother planting this, but it's, it's quite small. So the reason I'm starting now is because it takes them about a month to break their dormancy. And if I was to wait until middle of May or Memorial Day to put them in the ground, they really won't do much for me until June time. And if I start them now, hopefully by Memorial Day, they'll have some nice leaves. I can take them out and gradually harden them off to the to real sunlight and then um, you can either put them right directly into the ground or a large container so elephant ears are tropical these guys do like 
a pretty fertile soil. When I put them in the ground, I add a bunch of compost to them and they do need uh, pretty regular watering. So I'm gonna get going with this. Oh, one last tip. I like to put something in the bottom of my pots if it's got holes and you want holes for good drainage. These still have to be watered. So in the smaller pots, I use coffee filters. And then in this pot, I just use some newspaper. That way the potting soil doesn't come out of the hole and leak, it'll break down. The other thing I did is I bought a brand new bag of potting soil for two reasons. One, I figured I would use a whole bag on this project. And um, well, for three reasons, whole bag for this project. Two, my potting soil in the garage is frozen and I didn't really wanna have it thawing in the house and making a mess. And three, the bag I have in the garage was opened last fall. And I suspect that the fungus gnats found it and probably laid eggs in it. And I don't want to have an issue with fungus gnats over the next couple of months um, in, infesting all of my house plants. So I'm going to start out with fresh soil. It's warm. It's not frozen. And um, that will be that. And I also, since I'm going to be um, putting these in the ground or a larging container in just, well, two two months, two and a half months. I'm not gonna add fertilizer to um, this potting soil. And it probably has some granulated fertilizer in it already. Once you see growth, you could add some fertilizer to the water when you water them, and that will help a bit. So, all right, um, happy gardening. It's almost spring, and I'm gonna finish up this project for the day. Have a good day.